Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going back into the sketchbook. This is my Illo sketchbook. It's the same one drawing with waffles has, so that's pretty cool. Today we are going to be drawing animals using Ohuhu markers. Like and subscribe and let's see what we can create today. So maybe obvious, but the first thing we have to do is sketch out all of the animals that I am going to be drawing and coloring in today. So let's play a fun game. You try and guess the animal before I am done sketching it out. So if you couldn't tell, that first one was a snake. Now moving on to the next one, and I drew out a little line of symmetry in the middle to help me keep everything looking identical since moths, which is what this one is, are so symmetrical. So that line just really helped me. I I decided to just draw whatever animals came to mind. I really didn't have any pre-plans or anything planned out in terms of what I wanted to draw or how I wanted to color them in or anything like that. I just kind of went in and thought of an animal and then drew it out and kept on going. So that one is a cat, if you couldn't tell. And here we go to the next one. And this one was hard. I had to try it several times to get it right, but it is a little tiger type of animal. Here I go again with the next one. I just wanted the pages to be completely full of a whole bunch of different creatures. That way it looked like a full page spread. And also I could really use a variety of colors and just really bring the pages to life and add in a lot of different colors and a lot of vibrancy to the whole thing. Now I'm drawing out on this page a bird, which is a blue jay. And this was a lot of fun to just sketch out all the animals. It was pretty challenging because I don't really draw animals all that often. So this was really fun. I felt like this page needed a little more. So I added this little like rhino beetle at the top. And then finally for the last animal, I drew out this adorable weird looking little newt. And now it is finally time to bring in the Ohuhu markers, which I am very excited about. Coloring my sketches in is like my favorite thing. The moth had a lot of pencil sketches underneath, so I had to erase all of them and I was so worried I wouldn't be able to find my lines again. So the first thing I did was just outline everything with a green Ohuhu marker because that's the color I want the moth so I wouldn't lose any of the lines. And then next I decided to work on shading. So I knew that I wanted the moth to be green, so I just kind of went in with a variety of green colors and tried to make it warmer, cooler in certain areas based on whatever I wanted. And and then it was finally time to go in and color in the whole thing with this green marker. And I think it turned out really well and was a lot of fun to draw. It was kind of challenging because it's really hard to create smooth gradients with Ohuhu markers. Like you don't want there to be streaks and lines and stuff. But the markers are kind of hard because once they dry, they are no longer blendable. So you have to work really fast if you want to get colors to be smooth. I decided to add in some gel pen details with gold and white. And now it's time to move on to the next one. I decided to do the cat next. And I decided to use a lot of grays and browns and kind of mix cool tones and warm tones in the cat. So this was kind of challenging, but a lot of fun. And I decided to take kind of a messier approach to it and not try to blend everything in so much and try to make it a little more stylistic because I knew that for the cat, it would be really hard to get smooth colors in. Plus fur isn't really smooth. It kind of is a little more choppy. I decided to make the cat's eyes blue just to contrast from the brown nose. And then I went in with a black marker to add in some more details and I decided this was kind of more my style. I really like outlining and defining things so I decided to do this to the rest of the animals as well and kind of make them almost a little more comic booky. So this was a lot of fun and then of course finished with some gel pen details. Now it's time to move on over to my lizard. I decided to make him orange. I don't really know why. I don't even know if this happens. I just felt like it would be a really fun color to use and I wanted to do that. So I decided to start by adding in all of my shadow colors and then bringing in the next lighter color after lighter color to bring in some highlights and shadows. 
I really like the composition that I was able to create with the animals on this side of the page and I think it's kind of cool because it's all animals that cats are kind of like interested in attacking basically but I mean like curious about is a better way to say it so I like that the cats on the page surrounded by the moth and the bird and the lizard because I think it's kind of funny but then I decided to make the spots on the lizard yellow and brighten them up a little bit and then I went in again with my details and outlined everything and here I brought a different idea as well to use a cool gray to create shadows on the page around all of the animals so kind of to bring them to life and make them pop off the page so that was pretty fun and now it's time to move on to the blue jay for this one, I took a little bit of a different approach and first started off by using a kind of dark, deep gray on everything and just outlining everything like that since I decided to go with a more defined style and outline things a little bit more. So this is what I started with doing and then I added in some color and I decided to layer on top to try and make it look feather textured, which was a lot of fun and really challenging to try and create that kind of feather look. And then I just added in different shades of blue to create the patterns that they have on their wings and on their tails so this one was a lot of fun to draw i think blue jays are really pretty and then i went in with some darker colors to actually define everything and it's crazy how much different it looks once i add in the black and the highlights of course i can't stop unless i've used my gel pen so here i go adding in some more textures and some more details and then going in with that outline that just helps them pop off of the page and now I can work on this silly looking tiger. I say silly looking tiger because it took me a lot of tries to get this one right and it still it doesn't really look that much like a tiger. It's kind of like a lion tiger, like a liger and that's okay but it's just different. I decided to use some vibrant colors on this one and just kind of make it my own kind of mixture of animals. So this one's kind of a bright orangey yellow but I still think it's a lot of fun even though it's a little bit less realistic in my opinion than the other ones. But I I still had a lot of fun creating it. I feel like it's a little more cartoon like but I still like this one a lot of course going in with my gel pen details and then it's time to move on to the next one that I decided to do which is this little giraffe here in the bottom. I started by adding in the darkest colors which in this case was the giraffe spots and then I added in the little face details and while creating this drawing I realized that giraffes kind of have freckles all over their face and that's kind of cute so I thought I would share that little thought with you guys because that's kind of fun to think about it that way but then I decided to bring in some more colors I used this tan kind of cool color to add in some shadows but everything felt a little bit too cold in my opinion so I brought in this yellow to kind of warm everything up and add a little more life into the drawing that way it wasn't all reading so flat and kind of cold and now I could come in with the details and detail everything and outline it all in my style and then add in the finishing touches with the white gel pen and of course outlining it with gray so it would pop off of the page and now it's time for the rhino beetle I really wanted to challenge myself to do a beetle because the, you know how they have those like shiny backs and like kind of are different colors and a little bit iridescent. I really wanted to bring that in. I decided to do a rhino beetle. They're like these beetles that have these like almost horn type of noses on them. So I decided that that would be a fun artistic little challenge to do. So this one was a lot of fun to create but it was kind of weird because like I was drawing a bug but it was also a lot of fun. I decided it needed to be darkened up quite a bit just to make it more bug-like. And then once I finally got it to be how I wanted it in terms of color, I decided to add in a lot of white highlights just to make it look like it was kind of shiny like they are. So then it was time for the final one, which is the snake. And for this one, since it was the first one I did sketch-wise, it was kind of important to me for some reason. I really wanted to make it look really cool and I wanted to just do whatever designs I wanted on it 
like no reference, no ideas or anything because I feel like snakes can have a lot of different patterns and be a lot of different colors. So I just wanted to kind of make it my own and do whatever I wanted. I decided that this page needed some blue since the blue jay on the right page was so blue. So that's the color choice that I landed on. I decided to put yellow diamonds all the way down its back and then I decided to make it have like a rattlesnake type of tail even though that's only a rattlesnake thing. Also this snake has has it. And then I added in some dots and some shadows and finally colored in the whole snake blue, which was a lot of fun. It was fun designing the snake, but it was also really hard to do. And I decided that adding in a little bit of gold gel pen touches would help finalize the design. And I do think it made it better, but I'm not necessarily in love with this one. But I do think it was fun and I'm glad that I tried a new thing and tried to design it all completely by myself. Then I outlined it with a gray marker and then all of the animals were complete. This is how the spread turned out. This is the left side of the page with the snake, the tiger, the bug, and the giraffe. And I think my favorite on that page is probably the giraffe. I just think it's really cute. And here is the right side of the page with the blue jay, the moth, the cat, and this little salamander newt dude. And I really love how all of the animals turned out. I'd definitely be interested to hear which one you like the best and why. I'm very curious. I also really like the cat because I'm partial to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to create and challenge myself to create these animals. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!